It's Raffles City. It's Raffles. It's Raffles. Wait, Raffles City is a mall, right? Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh! I, I'm not confident in history. I don't know much. All I know is that we gain independence. I love Singapore, but maybe I'm not the most knowledgeable about it. People used to shit in like buckets in the floor or something. Lee Kuan Yew cried on TV. This looks like the Fullerton Bridge. That bridge looks like really familiar. It's like the one at the Fullerton Hotel there. Boki. <laughs> Singapore River. Singapore River? That's the only river I know besides Kalang River. Is it Old Airport Road? Oh my God, is this town? No, 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 no. It's too many residential areas. Really. I'm thinking that tower in the back is like the one at City Hall MRT. Is this Tanjung Paga? Because I know Singapore's tallest building is in Tanjung Paga. Okay, oh my god! Orchard Road! Oh, wait, why? Oh, okay, I see tanks. Because it's black and white photo lah, I cannot tell. There's a tiger bum garden. Garden? Chinese garden. No. I know this one, Hoppa Villa. Hoppa Villa. Oh my god, am I wrong? Hoppa Villa. Oh! I'm very scared of that place. The Tiger Bomb Brothers opened Hopper Villa. And they own like this, like you know, the that medicated oil thing. Gilang Sarai. She's like Gilang. Chinese characters, I'm guessing Kampong Glam. Lao Pasat. Oh. Which part of Singapore is this? Vivo City. <laughs> so this is Boogie Street. Are you serious? This doesn't look like Boogie Street. What the? Oh! <laughs> oh was it difficult identifying these places? Yeah. Singapore now is like so much more developed compared to last time where it's all just like, you know, shop houses and stuff. Yes. Because most of the photos are in black and white. <laughs> Oh, cool. I played this when I was younger. How do you even play this? You blow the ball. <laughs> it's a ball! Why don't kids play with this nowadays? It. Ah. 47, 48, 49, 50. Can you see me switching my hands? Oh my god. What's so fun about this game? It's very easy to play. You just bounce it and not let it drop on the floor. So like, you know you don't let the ball touch the ground. So you and your friends are to take turns to pass to each other. Simpler times, man. So do you know what this game is called? I don't know. Marbles. In holes. The marble and then toot 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 toot. This is Chongka. <laughs> I used to play this a lot with my mom back in primary school. I used to play for like almost every single day. Do you remember how to play? Kind of. Marbles alone, yes, but not with in this. There must be seven marbles in each hole. Then you have to put like only one marble in each hole and then you have to accumulate all the marbles in like your home, which is this side. Yeah. Hmm. You play with me. So fun. <laughs> ah! Oh man, I'm very good at this. Uh. No, this is your hole. My hole is this one. Your hole is this one. As you can tell, I clearly won. Oh, yo, oh my god, I really don't know how to play this. You need to tell me how to spin it. It's a top. Spin top. But it's also called uh, No, honestly, I have not. How old do you think I am? It's spinning. I think for me, I prefer this one than the paper ball. There's more sense of accomplishment when you're playing it. It reminded me a lot of Beyblades. Oh my god, I love Beyblades so much.
It smells like curry puff. Can I eat it now? Is this just like rendang or something? Laksa. Laksa. It has the essence of laksa, like the coconutty flavor. Oh, there's top pork inside also. There's top pork inside. A roll, like a lobster roll. Hot dog with... I can't guess the feeling. Sandwich law. <laughs> I don't know what's about this. It really tastes like murta. It's like, you know the, the meat on the soup tulang? The bone marrow thing. You never ever eat the soup tulang before? Satay. Definitely tastes like satay. Is it satay? Yeah, I'll eat it as like breakfast or like an in-between snack. No la, there's no satay sauce. <laughs> Looks like a char siu pao. It's not a pao. This is a cake. Oh. It has a certain taste but I don't know if it's that. Mm. What's that? Pandan? Outer layer is not like chrysanthemum. Oh my god. And uh, the inside is like miso lemon. Well, oh, this is so cheating on my feeling. I thought it was pao, but when you look at that, it's not pao at all. I think it's cool that like, chefs or even restaurant owners, they keep that local flavour in their dishes and give it a little bit of twist to meet the younger generation's like taste buds. <coughs> <laughs> I guess, no doubt lah, I kind of think about the days where I was younger and definitely more patriotic. For the ball game, right, it's closer to my heart because when I was younger, my, my neighbour and I, we couldn't afford like a real soccer ball lah. So we like to buy this kind of ball for like 20 cent, 50 cent. Wow, I really like the food. <laughs> I really like Singaporean themed products. I really like when people put a local identity on things. It's nice knowing that as a city that we've already grown so much over the last 50 odd years. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like, share and comment down below. <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs>